So I'm going to do a walk around on an LJ that we built for a customer about a year ago. Uh, it's a really cool LJ. It's simple yet effective. 40 inch tires on Raceline bead locks. So it's sitting on junkyard axles. So it's a Dana 60 front out of an 80 through 91 Kingpin Ford that we went through the whole thing. We added reed C's, reed knuckles, chromoly axles, Artec high steer arms. But this Jeep has our entire truss kit. So the truss comes up over the differential. The three link mount, three link mount is right up on top here. So it's a three link front with hydro assist and full width Dana 60 front. Uh, the rear is a full width 14 bolt front with factory disc brakes. So as you walk around on this thing, we kept it pretty simple. It's got 12 inch, two and a half inch King coilovers with our universal shock towers for TJ on the front. Like I said, a three link front, Curry Anti Rock sway bar, PSC hydro assist. Now, one of the things that makes these LJ builds pretty easy is we always like to start with the Rubicon Express belly pan. If you look underneath here, the center section unbolts for doing any work on it later on. We put the lower links to the Rubicon Express belly pan with our inch and a quarter Himes and two inch quarter wall DOM. The upper link mounts in the rear are our inside the frame weld on upper link mounts. And you can see the 14 bolt truss with upper link mounts built in and the uh, pinion guard there as well. So in the rear, it was stretched back approximately 10 inches and it's running 14 inch, two and a half inch King coilovers. The factory gas tank was simply moved back to the uh, cross member farther back. Got ARVs front and rear, 538 gears front and rear, stretch corners. It's a pretty simple Jeep, but very effective. It's got a 4.3 Atlas and it's a factory motor, factory automatic. Basically, gets you out on the trail and drives around town. Have a good weekend.